a demon-possessed man who needs to be executed. He needs to be killed even by a mob. In verse 22 of chapter 9, chapter 9 is the, the man born blind. Jesus heals the man born blind. And the leaders, the Jews, come and confront the parents of the man and the man. And his parents, in verse 22, said this because they were afraid of the Jews. This is, an, this is an insight into how the people felt about their leaders. They were afraid of them. They feared them. They were the ones that they believed had charge of their eternal souls and their destiny and their place in the kingdom. And they wanted to comply with them. They were completely engulfed under their power and authority. For the Jews had already agreed again, the Jews, the leaders, that if anyone confessed him to be Christ, the Messiah, he was to be put out of the synagogue. Anybody who affirmed that he was a follower or she was a follower of Jesus Christ would be persona non grata in the social life of Israel because everything revolved around the synagogue. They would be un synagogue. They would be excommunicated. They would be considered an outcast. They couldn't participate in social activities of any kind, even within a family. So the people knew what the price was if they followed this demon-possessed man. The price was high. In chapter 9 and verse 24, a second time, they called the man who had been blind, and they knew he could see, and they said, give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. He's a sinner. He's demon-possessed. He's like a Samaritan. He's an outcast and a traitor. And that's what they said to the people. And anyone who followed him would be literally put out of the society of Israel. Price was high. Chapter 10 and verse 19, very important. A division occurred again among the Jews because of these words. And many of them were saying, he has a demon and is insane. Why do you listen to him? All right, now we've got another element. He is insane. He is a maniac. He is a madman. Now in verse 31, the Jews, again, picked up stones to stone him. Verse 39, they were seeking again to seize him, and he eluded their grasp. Maybe just one more from the 11th chapter, and verse 53, from that day on they planned together to kill him. Been initiated a long time earlier when he attacked the temple, back in chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. We have a record of what he did at the very beginning of his ministry many, many months earlier. But they didn't forget that. They didn't forget his assault on their temple. But in specific, in the Gospel of John, here's the trigger event that launches the persecution that keeps escalating through the passages that I read you a moment ago. There are three elements to the story, and they're around the personalities. Three personalities, Jesus, the Jews, and the man. And three amazing realities, the amazing compassion of Jesus, the amazing contempt of the Jews, and the amazing complacency of the man. 